many were in this ship? 120. Uh, eight or nine officers and 90 enlisted personnel. And please tell me about the living condition inside of the ship. You know, not, young not, generations are very... Not that, not that favorable. Uh, Can you tell me the details? Where did you sleep? What did you eat? Oh, oh yeah, we had... Uh, well, on the climate, we had, our d dog was Max, a, a boxer dog. And Max would went to sea with us each time we would depart for the ocean. Max would be aboard. We would he would have t t two and three deck uh, sleeping quarters, hammocks. Hammocks. Well, uh, comparable to hammocks. And it would be. Uh, and I was fortunate. I I, I would have had one one berth, one 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 rack, or one sack. Poor guys who had. Three three sacks on top. That would be not be good good sleeping. That's right. But you get used to it. This year is the six years anniversary of the U.S. Korea alliance and the armistice. There is no war lasting six years after an official ceasefire in the 20th century. What do you think about that? Uh, it would be good to have a peace treaty, I think. Do you think the U.S. Congress will support that? I don't know. What, fair, what the fair question, but uh, I don't know how. Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the Congress didn't pass it. What is the importance of U.S. Korea alliance of world policy and especially about Asia right now? Oh, very important. I think Korea, as I said, it, 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 in my opinion, it is not the forgotten war. There are many Americans who appreciate the, the relationship that we enjoy with the, with the Republic of Korea. And I told the president that when I, when I talked to her. Why do you think it has been called forgotten? I don't know. I, I guess maybe because it, it, it didn't attract the uh, information, obviously, as, as the Vietnam War did. It's farther removed chronologically. That may be the reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any message to our young generation about uh, your service and about the Korean War, and especially in the context of this mutual relationship between U.S. and Korea? Well, I'd say to the, to the younger generation, be, keep in mind that free, freedom is not free. It takes sacrifices to, to maintain and, and endure freedom. And I don't want these young people coming along to, to ever be casual about that and take it for granted. That would be a mistake. I'd be very concerned if that were the case.